G'day and welcome to another video. In today's lesson we will learn how to make some barefoot sandals. They are great for summer and would look great in any colour. So let's get started on the lesson. We are going to need some yarn, a crochet hook that is recommended for your yarn. On your yarn label it will have the recommended hook size. I'm using 8 ply so it recommends about a size G or a 4, 4.5mm four hook. I've got a pair of scissors and a sewing needle with a large eye. You can use any yarn you like as long as you use the recommended hook size. So for this project we are going to use a magic ring. You could also use the chain 4 and join method and then work over your tail and pull that tail tight. For the magic ring I just like to wrap the yarn around my fingers. I grab hold of the loop and just let go of it. This is just a thing that I do but I just grab hold of it like that but you can grab it however you like. You could grab it like that at the top as long as you can go into the loop and pull through like so. We are going to chain three. One, two, three. And working into the loop I'm just going to pull that a little bit smaller you still want to leave it open so we can work into it. I'm going to work two double crochet so going into the center and working your double crochet we want to work four double crochets all together the chain three counts as our first stitch that's one two three working another double crochet into the center ring that's four stitches all together now we're going to chain two and then work four double crochets into the center ring now I like just like to hold one like that so that little tiny hole there is smaller I find if it's if I hold it like that and there's a big loop it's just too loose for me to work so that's why I just close it off so it's small so yarning over going into the ring working four double crochets as you can see it gets bigger as I go along because I'm pulling on it chain two we need to work and you can also pull that a little bit tighter if you want to don't close it up otherwise we won't be able to work into it so we've done our chain two and four more double crochets into the center of the ring chain two and now how many sizes does a triangle have? four right? no just kidding it's only got three so we need three sections we've got four double crochets there so that's one section then our chain two we've got four double crochets here and a chain two that's our second section and then four double crochets for our third section so three sides of a triangle three sections so now we can pull on that um, strand at the back there to pull that tight we're going to join to the third chain or in a pattern it could say join to the top of the chain three so what that means is that first chain here so we got one it's quite hard to see we've got one two three so you want to join to the top of the chain three so it's the third chain so I like to grab the first loop at the front and then grab that loop at the back So we're going to join that, so we're going to do a slip stitch. And now we have this little cute triangle. <laughs> so adorable. So that first part, if you wanted to make different colours, would be perfect um, for scraps, this little first section, because it doesn't use much yarn at all, does it? Let's see if I've got some different colours here. Yes, I do. Let's use 
these colors probably aren't going to go together but we're going to use a different color so we can show you how to change color so what we're going to do is cut off our yarn I need to get a new pair of those scissors they're getting blunt then we are going to do a chain and just pull that yarn pull down to make it tight and if you're not if you're not changing color what you want to do is slip stitch so let's just pretend that's still joined to our ball of yarn if you're not changing color you would slip stitch go into the next stitch slip stitch and work over until you get to your chains one space you want to also do a slip stitch into your chain one space but we're, we're changing color so working into the chain two space which is here where that hole is going into there grabbing your new color just lay it on top of the hook and what I like to do just try and show you that way you won't have to put your hook like this but you'll just lay it on top and then grab it at the back and pull through make sure this tails about two inches drop that down at the back pick up your new color just trying to grab that so it's out of the way then we work chain one grab the short piece of the color we've just changed to and just pull down and this here will disappear watch and that secured that nicely down into there so now we can just pull that so we don't have a gaping lip now we can continue on so now we want to chain three so it's just making sure that's tight at the back one two three going into the chain two space which is this hole where we've joined our color going to work a double crochet we're going to chain two and then work two double crochets back into the same chain two space so back into that same hole working two double crochets so our corner is made up of two double crochets chain two two double crochets but the first chain three that we've got here counts as our first stitch so that's one and two chain two one two now we want to work down the side of our triangle we've got four stitches here so we want to make sure that we put four stitches across there now the first one might be hard to see the tiny little hole there, see that tiny hole we're going to be putting our hook into there and you might have to jam it in but it will go I'm going to lay my yarn on top it's just laying across the top of the work going to sorry guys first of all we had to wrap our yarn we're doing a double crochet so wrap your yarn and then go into that tiny little hole apologies there pull up a loop and complete your double crochet so we should have three stitches left remember because we had to do four all together so yarning over going into that next stitch if you find it too hard to work with your tail across the top there just drop it down to the back and ignore it and then you can sew that in later but this is a great way to sew in your end as you go so in each stitch across oi, get out just trying to get in on the action So we've got one more stitch left so double crochet into that one and then we've got the chain two space and we want to work two double crochets into there so I'm trying to still work over my tail there that's so one two we're going to work a chain two
and then two double crochets into that same chain two, uh, chain two space. We've got four stitches across here. We're going to work four stitches across the top. I'm still working over my tail because it seems to be a long one. So going into that first stitch, and don't miss that first stitch. So we're working double crochets all the way across. Sometimes when you have these little balls of yarn that's just leftovers, you get a, a like a cereal bowl or a little bowl of some description and put it in that and that will save it jumping around everywhere like mine is. I do have a bowl but it's not within reach. So that's one, two, three. Working the last double crochet on the top across the side there. We've got our chain two space. We're going to work two double crochets. Oops. Chain two. And I like to just move that over a bit. And then two double crochets. Now I think you can go now because you've been worked enough. And see how there's a tiny hole here? That tiny hole there. That's our stitch, that's where we're working into. You don't want to forget that because otherwise, if you forget a stitch, one of your sides is going to be shorter than the other. And that's not good, is it? So we're just working across, putting in our double crochets. And now we want to join to the top of the chain three. So one, two, threes here. Make sure you go under both loops and then join with a slip stitch. So I'm just going to tighten up that hole a little bit. Yeah, these colours really don't look that great together. <laughs> that's fine I'm just using scraps for the demonstration and I'm sure you could find some better looking scraps at your house so what we want to do now I'm not going to change color but if you want to change color you're going to finish off like we did in the last row joining your color like we did on the last row because because I'm not changing color what I need to do is I need to start over here on the next row but at the moment I'm over here so we need to slip stitch across so going into the next double crochet I'm going to slip stitch into the chain two space I'm going to slip stitch as well. So now I'm into that chain two space. We're going to chain up three counts as our first double crochet. We're going to double crochet into the chain two space, chain two and then we're going to work two double crochets into the stitches across the top here so that's one two three four five six seven eight we're going to work eight double crochets across so yarning over going into the first stitch remember that little tiny hole that's where it is so if you miss that you'd only end up with seven stitches it's this little red bit coming there So I'm just going to double crochet all the way across. We get to the chain two space, we're going to work two double crochets. Chain two. And two double crochets. going to double crochet all the way across I 
I have a feeling I may run out of yarn. But it's okay because I do have this colour somewhere. So we're up to the chain two space. We're going to double crochet two double crochets into the chain two space. Chain two. And then we're going to work two double crochets. So it's looking good, isn't it? So we've got a little tiny stitch we'd have to remember, so going into there and then working all the stitches across and we're at the end of our row oh it's going to be close, you wait until you see how much yarn I've got left Alrighty, so we're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three. Okay, I had a little bit more than what I thought, but that's all I've got. It's just that. So it's perfect for that. Alrighty, so now. You can do as many rounds as you like, slip stitching across and starting into there and you're using the same method, chain up three, double crochet, chain two, two double crochets. Working your way around, putting two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet into the, into the corner spaces. But that's as big as I want mine because I don't have very wide feet so perfect for me. Oh, if you, sorry, I hope you haven't already cut your yarn, but it doesn't matter if you have. You can slip stitch across to here if you're using the same colour. I have to cut my yarn off because I've got none left. I'm going to change back to another colour. I'm going to change back to that colour. Um, if you haven't cut your yarn already, slip stitch across. If you have, don't worry about it. It's perfectly fine. Because we can always join it back together. So we need to sew those ends in and I'm actually going to do that on camera in case you don't know how to do it. Because they're just gonna, that one's going to get in my way anyway. So I like to sew my ends in on the back of projects. Of course if there isn't a back then you can't do that. <laughs> it doesn't matter what side to do it on. So I basically just thread it down and then go in between the stitches and trim off that one I will do those later on but I just wanted to do that one because that was in the way. Okay, so we're going to join our yarn into any of the chain two spaces. It doesn't matter which one. And if you um, haven't cut your yarn, you would have slip stitched over to your chain two space. Okay, so we're going to join this in. I had to change colours like I said because I ran out of yarn. We're going to chain one if we're joining our colour, if you're not you won't need to. And now we're going to work three single crochets into the chain two space. In every stitch across, 
we're going to work a single crochet. Don't forget that little one there. You don't want to pull your stitches too tight because they will make the triangle won't lay flat. So we're going to single crochet across. When we get to this one, we're going to do a single crochet. We're going to chain. Depending on the thickness of yarn you're going to use, this is where the toe hole is going to be. So I'm going to chain seven. If you're using thick yarn, you may need sort of five. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Of course, you'll be able to judge. Single crocheting back down into there. You'll be able to judge by looking at it to say, okay, well, that needs to be a bigger hole to fit a toe into, or needs to be smaller. Single crochet back across. You could also work this last round in half double crochet. That would look really cool too. I mean, you could even do another round of the double crochet if you like and incorporate that into the into the stitching. So you want to make sure that's still laying flat. Yep, one's all right. If it's not laying flat and it's going like that at the sides, it means this is too tight. So just pull that round out and maybe use a bigger hook or just relax your tension off a bit. Three single crochets into here. And then in each stitch across, don't forget that little tiny hole. We're going to single crochet. This is actually looking really nice. Maybe these colours won't look so bad after all. Okay, so that's the chain stitch there. Can be a little bit difficult to get into. That's our last one. I'm going to do our three stitches. Okay, so we're going to slip stitch to join to the top of the single crochet. Alrighty, so now we can work one of our straps straight off here, but the other one will have to tie onto the other side. It's looking really good. We want to work our strap so it's coming out from the corner. So what we need to do is just slip stitch across one time. Just across one stitch. So we're coming out of the second single crochet of those three in the corner. That's one, two, three. We're going to make a chain. You can make the chain as long as you want. I have done uh, between 50 and 70 chains on mine depending on the thickness of your yarn of course if you've got thick yarn and depending on how long you want the straps so do your chain of 50 between 50 and 70 depending on your size you want write the number down so you can make the other side the same width once you get to the end, you're going to cut your yarn and then just pull out like that. With the barefoot sandals, I like to just cut off just like that. You could also sew in your ends, but I find with the chain it, it always comes out. So just, I just like to leave it like that. I think that looks really cute. So we've got our little bit for the toe down there. Then we've got, oops ends that we need to sew in, our chain, and now we want to work the other side. So finding that third, that's one, two, three, so that's number two, third stitch, grab your yarn, lay your yarn over the hook, pull through, and make your chain. And you're going to make your chain the same length of the other side. 
And after we've done that, we just need to sew in all our ends. And that's it. So I will keep chaining until I get the same length as the other side. There we go, there's my finished one. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please share your creations on our Facebook page, as we love to see everybody's crochet creations. Please subscribe as there will be plenty more videos to come. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And until next time, happy crochet.